Hello my soccer universe. Uh, for once I thought I'll do only the Austrian Bundesliga review. Uh, not only did I see or follow a little bit more what was happening in Austria this weekend, but also I didn't see all that much from the German Bundesliga. So I thought, yeah, that will work fine for once to not have both of them. Also, uh, the German Bundesliga will have a midweek round then in a week. So I thought it might actually be cool if I do it this way. Now, wearing Lask always means Lask got a win, uh, an uncharacteristic win in the sense because um, home wins, this uh, has had not happened for almost two months and especially against Wolfsburg, the opponent, um, it was usually that in Wolfsburg Lask won easily and at home they uh, drew or most of the time even lost. So it was kind of an iffy one, but Wolfsburg had been in a really, really, really bad shape. Uh, this is one of the only three teams that whenever the Bundesliga reform came, which I think was in 1718, uh, it, they are one of only three teams that always made it into the top six, the other ones being Salzburg and Sturm Graz, of course. So uh, them looking out on the outside uh, and probably not making there, it's kind of a big deal in a way. Last though securing uh, their position to make it again in the, in the top six, they only missed out last year. Um, speaking of Sturm Graz and Salzburg, uh, of course, their European exploits are taking center stage. You could clearly see this with Salz Salzburg. They have the big uh, final in Milan against my favorite uh, Milan. So I'm not gonna root for the Austrian team there for sure. Uh, but Sturm Graz is in a really good position to um, at least finish third, if not uh, moving on in, in the Europa League, which is a major, major achievement for uh, them. And I, at the beginning of the, of the season, they made some noise that maybe, yeah, uh, second place is our, our, our goal, maybe we can do more. And it seems like it that they potentially could do a little bit more. What they lack is probably the consistency that Salzburg have. Uh, it was also a crazy week for the Vienna team, especially those guys in green and white who had one big win and then probably one of the maddest Bundesliga games uh, this season with three goals scored in stoppage time where every single one of those uh, issued wild sets and celebration. I think there were also two disallowed goals in there. It was a crazy game out in Lustenau. But I want to start actually with the makeup game on October 26th, which is the Austrian national hol holiday. And very often there's a cup round played, but this time around, since it was Champions League also scheduled there, um, it worked out um, that um, Rapid could play because they didn't qualify for the Europa League or the Conference League, uh, Conference League in their case. Um, the funny thing here, though, is that this game was postponed exactly that they make it into, in, into this group stage. So yeah, there you go. In any case, uh, Hartberg being the last place team, although I have a feeling they might, uh, while they're now down, I have a feeling they might not get relegated, re 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 but they're a little bit in danger. Um, they had it one, one at the half. But then second half, I mean, Burgstaller scored a hat trick. Did he? Did he? Did he even score the fourth goal? No, had a hat trick, um, and um, it was repeat for the first time in a long time, showing that they actually got the missed even penalty through the Rolf, uh in the 87th. So yeah, a big one there. But let's talk about the weekend games because I mean almost everyone had a unique story a story in Klagenfurt who are really sitting again set for a top six uh, regular season finish found themselves still down though down very early on through a Sabitzer goal he's on loan from Lask to Tirol and he's playing always better there he couldn't find a, a squad spot um, and they were actually for a large time the kind of a little bit more efficient uh, slightly better in the game team Ranacher uh, in the 43rd makes it 2-0 but then Markus Pink just before the half 1-2 uh, and it's Markus Pink that get okay action equalized as well in between uh, I think there was a goal of theirs was disallowed uh, but also a, a goal from Tirol if I'm not mistaken it's uh, a little bit of a blur uh, in the 74th minute, you really think it's 2-2 and Klagenfurt get a big point because fighting back from 2-0. Uh, 
Aber Valentino Müller auf der Rogel Assist in der 9. This minute gets them, get Tirol a win. I already said the Lustner Rapid game. That was just madness. And it didn't look like it for most of the time. Sudanovic against the run of the play gives Lustenau a 1-0 lead. Uh, Rapid were the better team there at the, at the beginning. Um, but with the goal, and Lustenau suddenly were threatening to make it even a 2-0 lead. And this is very much like Lustenau. When they played against Lask, they had a very, very, very similar game where Lask had the 1-0 lead and then suddenly lost Lustenau score and suddenly they were rolling. I mean, whenever they get a uh, success, uh, uh, um, you know, a good moment for them if they score a square goal this lifts the spirits maybe enough to uh, for, for, for them to move on however rapid were then really really pre pressing in the end it's burgstaller in the 59th uh, again scoring to give them equal as a really well played goal and then coach mada brings on Teixeira share in the 64th minute and within two two minutes he gets the go-ahead goal uh, for Lust now and for a long time it looked like they will have because a, a, a page goal is disallowed for offside because Burgstaller is kind of uh, limited the view of the goalkeeper uh, and that took a whole uh, lot of time to figure that out because in the Rijkshof Stadium in Lust now uh, let, let, let's put it the angles are not good it's not a stadium built for having VAR honestly but it really look, look like that Lusner is going to hang on despite um, decent stoppage time. Uh, however, Guido Burgstaller that makes it 2-2 in the 92nd minute. And I think, okay, it's a draw. However, Rapid concede a penalty, one that even with replays you don't really can make out. Was it really a penalty or was it just falling nicely? In any case, the review again takes a while and it's Teixeira again scoring the penalty. 3-2, wild celebrations. However, thanks to the review, the stoppage time is extended and, well, and um, even Goldie Hadel is coming in, in front and he was then crucial because across uh, he gets his head on that falls in such a way to Zimmermann that it gets 3-3 in the 100th minute. This was a crazy, crazy game. It showed that this repeat team is not dead. It also showed that this Lucena team is one, especially at home, that is not easy to play against. So it was a really, really, really interesting match. Not so much Salzburg against Hartberg. Hartberg just beaten by uh, Rapid 5-1, uh, as we talk, talked about. Salzburg is controlling the game, but other than that, it was a Noah Oka for a goal. Uh, maybe there should have been more goals scored, but all over it was Salzburg just trying to get the game done, focus on the Champions League where they have the big finale coming up. Uh, Austria-Vienna also controlling the game and creating chances, however, completely against the run of play, a wonderful freak where I'm uh, Amankwa in the 42nd give Aldach a 1-0 lead, however, fits right after the half, makes an equalizer, they almost scored and a go-ahead goal, but then, you know, chances on both ends, it's end-to-end uh, -end stuff. It seems like it's going for 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 a draw, and then an Alter player puts the hand out. It's a penalty. Fitz gets the winner. Uh, what can I tell you about Lusk? Well, it was a game that I was a little bit, as as I say in the beginning, a little bit apprehensive because I don't know what to expect whenever they play Wolfsburg. But uh, this time around, they did what you want to see. The game uh, was even with control, but then a free kick um, is gi uh, is given for Lusk outside of the box. Schul steps up puts it into net. Didn't have a lot of speed, but it was very well placed. 1-0. A few minutes later, uh, there is a corner kick that little Sasha Horvath gets his head on and Schul makes his second goal, uh, just taps it in and then another free kick where uh, it was another direct and in, in the direction where Michael taps, taps in Schul in the other corner, makes it 3-0. He scores a hat trick within 12 minutes. Yes, he's basically the big signing for Lusk this season and he played well for Bochum in the second German league and, 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 and so on. Uh, but he's not a huge goal scorer. So that was a pretty big deal and him really getting off. The thing though is he should have had five goals before the half. Five goals. Because he had a free header that he put just wide. I mean, he's within four meters of, of, of the goal. And then even more so, a, a really nice attacking move. And at that point, you know, it was the game was done after 23 minutes. Uh, they're passing the ball, ball around. But here, here and there, when you see the opportunity, they launched an attack. And one of those attacks 
then is played uh, to him free goal and it's basically like in tennis a stop ball in towards the goalie almost going backward it was such a weird 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 uh, thing as I say it should have been five goals for him as of course a hat trick was good and he admitted afterwards I should have been annoyed I don't know what the machinery is doing out there uh, sorry for that noise it's very very late uh, Nakamura gets a fourth goal and I think there were chances to make it a really, really high scoreline. Um, despite Wolves, Wolves were controlling the game a little bit more. I was a little bit pissed that then uh, they get a goal back because I think 4-1 is actually a little bit uh, too close. And yeah, Lask now have played Wolfsburg twice and have a 9-2 overall with one four-time goal scoring Ljubicic in the first game and then Schul scoring a hat-trick. So pretty, pretty big stuff. And then in the final game of the uh, round, um, Sturm Graz get it 2-1 over Ried, but uh, similar to the Austria uh, game. Um, Sturm really controlled the game uh, at, at the beginning, um, Jancic scoring from a penalty um, to give them the lead, probably should have taken more. Again, they probably are focusing on the Europa League because they have to go to Midtjylland and get a result uh, there. Um, but failing in control until a uh, shot is deflected by uh, by Chabi to make it 1-1. One, one. Um, Reed, where their goal is in Radlinger, made really, really great saves, were holding on. Um, however, they give up the uh, the goal. Absolutely crazy one. It's a core, 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 core kick that hits two Reed players and falls to Kitteschwili, who got the win against Feyenoord. Uh, and it's 2-1 for Sturm Graz. And then... Uh, Chances on both sides, probably a little bit more on the Sturm, uh, in the Sturm, so it was a more entertaining game than one would have probably expected prior to that, especially with Sturm uh, being so good overall. So in the um, standings now, not much has actually uh, changed up top. But most crucially, uh, with that draw and Tyrol and Austria Vienna winning, Rapid Vienna is again only in seventh spot. So they are right around the line. Yes, uh, still more in than out. But you see already the other teams have a slightly higher chance of going in. Uh, Wolfsburg is probably the last team that has a realistic chance of going in. Lustra, who looked for a while that they might do it, uh, are very much looking now more uh, playing against re relegation as was expected ahead of the season. Um, as for expected, it's pretty much what I said, Rapid Vienna at the moment on the outside looking, but it is a tight race between uh, four teams. So uh, Wolfsburg probably will miss out, but Austria, uh, Vienna and Austria Klagenfurt, uh, Tirol and uh, Rapid, all of those four very much make the last three spots, which um, basically set on Salzburg 1, Sturm 2, Lask 3 at this point. And Hartberg um, probably very much set for a last place finish in the regular season. Um, and also for now uh, in a total to be the relegation candidate number one. But uh, there can much change because of the format. Of course, um, if you look at the green bars, Rapid Vienna is very interesting. Either they go in the European spots or they finish first and also go in a playoff in the league. Uh, the 1-3 to three is not as clear up there because with half points, Austria Vienna probably make up. But I would actually, from what I've seen last, this season seems to be a better team than Austria Vienna. Uh, the upcoming round... The big one is the last one, Rapid Vienna against Lask. Um, given that last coach Kübauer is a Rapid legend and there has always been bad blood between the, those two, this is just the outstanding fixture there. Um, hartberg Luz now is a pretty big relegation fight and uh, Wolfsburg-Salzburg, um, yeah, this used to be a pretty uh, cool game, but not not so much a sleep for Miss Tirol against Austria because that's, uh, that's a game between two teams that are really, really good so yeah next week i will pack on the bundesliga as well uh where i think for for, for me the only story uh this uh, weekend is was more or more or less the missed penalty in the frankfurt dortmund game where it was just ridiculous but we'll talk about this next week any case um i hope you enjoyed this little uh review of the action in austria please give me a thumbs up if you did so subscribe to my channel if you want to 
uh, see more videos like these, drop a line below if you want to know anything more, if you want to add some, some, something, if you quite a question, I would be happy to answer that. Though I have, not, I have been re rather bad with the comments as of late, but I will try to get to it uh, since tomorrow is a day off. Any case, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.